Hello everyone, welcome to Mentor School. Uh, my name is Ankit. Today in this video, I'll be covering BTP DevOps. Before getting into BTP DevOps, I just wanted to let you know that we already have uh, many videos on uh, BTP uh, services. So you can find the video on audit log management and uh, BTP alert notification service, BTP transport management service, continuous integration, continuous delivery, and then BTP application logging service. Today we are doing BTP DevOps and then again you can find BTP Autoscaler service, BTP Identity Provisioning service, and BTP uh, Identity Authentication service, BTP Cloud Identity services, BTP Connectivity service, BTP Destination service, BTP Build Work Zone, and many more. So request you to go ahead and uh, have a look on all these to understand BTP a bit better. And you will also find a lot of uh, videos having two hours, three hours, four hours length, and it will give you a lot of content on BTP. But yeah, if you really wanted to go ahead and learn something end to end on BTP, definitely I'll show you some table of content at the end. Uh, what all different trainings we offer on BTP. So uh, stay tuned. So without uh, delay, let's go ahead and start DevOps, BTP DevOps. So guys, uh, before understanding going to BTP DevOps, I would First, tell what DevOps is. Okay, so when you say the name development operations, and it is made up for the two keyword development and operations. So, what do you mean with development operations? So, why you develop application? Because you want to use application. To be able to use application, you will add then deploy the application somewhere, right? Maybe in server or somewhere, right? But in term of BTP, you will deploy in one of the BTP environments, maybe Neo, Kaima, Cloud Foundry, and uh, uh, ABAP, correct? So the cycle starts from develop, where uh, developers do develop the application. Okay, definitely there might be 10, 10 developers, 15 developers are developing the application, and uh, uh, it definitely the version of each of those developers need to be maintained properly and need to be merged at the end to have a one um, one a truth. Uh, code right which uh, definitely uh, need to go out further in the devops life cycle right so version control is going to help you so in develop phase developers use business application studio available on btp and then they connect this uh, business application studio to one of the version control tool right now SAP doesn't have uh, any good version control tool tool on btp so normally we use third party version control tool like let's say git azure repo AWS commit, GitLab, Git a bit bucket. There are a lot of version control tools. Any one of them we can use in our BTP landscape. Okay. And then uh, we have a next service, which is CI CD service on BTP. So after version is control is done, your code is in one place and which is a uh, which is a final version of the code which is ready to be uh, maybe deployed. So definitely you cannot just go ahead and deploy it. So first you have to do some initial checks let's say you will be do code building and then you will do some testing and then you will be doing some malware scanning then acceptance testing will happen once everything yeah. passed right you will release this code right now this release this code which is released can directly be deployed right in one of the environment but let's say you want you have three environments one is dev one is prod one is test right so definitely you don't want to just deploy it in one plus you want to some service which can go ahead and deploy in First uh, deploy in dev and then it go and deploy in test and then automatically will go ahead and deploy in prod as well. So the transport management service will comes in a picture which will pick up the uh, you know uh, you know released code and will deploy in all through or will transport to all three different environments uh, test dev and prod right. And there is a deployment service on BTP which takes care of the final deployment. It will just transfer the content to the right place. But yes. Again, it need to be deployed by a deployment service. Once it is deployed, then uh, your application must be running and it will be used by your business. Then definitely you need a monitoring tool to monitor the health or health checkup application, which your BTP application logging service does. And then again, you need to do some enhancements. So again, this process again starts from develops and it's, it keeps going on and you developer just need to do a Click once they have really they have done a part of development and this all happens automatically. So we have a complete DevOps course which 
covers all these capabilities all these services will integrate all of them together and we'll see that automatically the complete end to end life cycle is running without a single touch okay so that's what we say is uh, software development life cycle or automated uh, software development life cycle okay and sap supports this and there was nothing such which we had previously on sap at this level yeah we had transport management and all but yes it was not this much automated right so that's where and there are a lot of uh, other videos i saw you right there is a video for transport management you can go and learn there is a video for application logging service there is a video for ci cd service you can go and refer these to understand this a bit better okay but this gives you a overall picture of the btp devops okay there are a lot of uh, you know uh, customization or configuration we need to do to integrate all of these two work together for you okay so guys this was a bit uh, a quick overview on btp devops but yeah if you wanted to learn this in detail we have a course called btp devops right where we start with devops overview what is development what is version control what is build what is test what is containerization what is configuration management what is release what is deploy what is monitor right and then btp overview because definitely you should have a bit understanding on btp otherwise how you will be able to use these services or able to integrate this service different functionalities it offer on btp so we'll do some btp overview as well and then we'll jump into btp devops right which is specific to your uh, btp what are the different services we have as we saw but yeah we'll go explore it a bit more detail right and then understanding version control on B for BTP, then BTP CI CD service, and then BTP transport management service, then BTP deployment service, and then BTP DevOps monitoring with application logging service. And at the end, we'll, we'll try to achieve this complete automated life cycle what we saw in the PPT. Okay. Apart from this, we have BTP administration training. If you want to learn, this is for all basis consultant or security consultant. And again, we have dedicated course for BTP security in which we cover platform security, application security, identity and access management using IES and IPS. And then we have identity access governance as well, like GRC you have in your on-premise. We have IEG on a cloud, which takes care of identity and access governance of on-premise and cloud tools on BTP or not on BTP, right? And then we have a course for BTP devops which we already have looked and we have developed course for btp development with cap using which uh, if you want to develop uh, application using java node js php ruby go all those languages you can use capm and you can develop the application on btp right and then definitely when you're developing then devops is going to come picture so see how integrated everything is here right and then btp uh, development for restful ABAP programming and then uh, uh, btp uh, uh, extension shoot in restful web programming normally we'll use a web on a cloud we say a web on a cloud so we'll develop application on a web or uh, cloud native application a web or we can uh, you know develop extensions for on-premise systems on btp right or customization whatever we do in on-premise system that actually we can do on cloud and uh, we can deploy those uh, customizations on uh, on-premise system without touching the core of its own right so we can keep the core clean using this and btp extension should again this is dedicatedly for extension extension where you might want to customize your on-premise or cloud systems using cap or wrap model what we learned in last two course right and then again we have integration shoot where we have five to seven capabilities which will be covered like integration uh, i flows api management integration advisor trading partner management event mess advanced event mess integration assessment all those tools of integration shoot right and then build process automation where a functional consultant can create a lot of uh, automations with respect to sap system non sap system so that you can avoid repetitive jobs uh, and it it really uh, you can scale up with your uh, development and and automations or configurations and, uh, and anything right with the automation tool right and then uh, you have we have a course for btp build apps using which you can develop a very good application so maybe web-based application or mobile application without writing code so it's a no code low code application development tool which is available on btp to be able to use right so and again for btp ai you have if you want to learn ai services on btp and how you can develop charts boards and other ai ai uh, solutions on btp and wanted to use with any custom application you have developed on btp you can go ahead and do that as well and we have a course for that as well right and signa view training or acc planning acc uh, bi data sphere data intelligence data hub 
or any other cloud service on btp i i don't have very all the names in my mind but yeah whatever you're looking for on btp or other cloud tools or on premise tool we can reach out to us and uh, i would just remind you to please go ahead and subscribe our youtube channel to get these videos and there are a lot of other videos available which are three hour four hour two hour videos on each of these development integration automation on btp and which you give you end to end idea right and uh, and uh, you can go ahead and refer all those and enhance your skills and knowledge or if you want to do end to end comprehensive training on these technologies or services you can go ahead and learn and uh, with us you can go and reach out to us okay so mm, this is one i just wanted to give you one quick view on uh, how we deliver our training normally there will be a uh, you know a complete uh, instructor led training we offer normally in this batch we already have delivered eight sessions we have one or two more sessions on administration and then again four to five sessions on security this is a combined course for btp administration security and you see that right you have a session one uh, so video is uploaded there then you have a ppt for that day assignments for that day again lecture two and then assignment for that day lecture three ppt and then assignment for that day lecture four ppt assignment for that day so every day you'll get assignment and corresponding document we have used in video and at then we'll conduct a mock test as well to test your knowledge and that's how we conduct our course and you definitely going to like it and if you look at our reviews they, they are awesome okay so maybe i can show you some of them see so you will not find a single review with respect to btp uh, which are a four star we don't get four stars we get five stars because we offer that level of content that level of hands on everything and you see everyone have given four star even you can go and check with their linkedin profile verify these are real people have done having 15 to 20 10 years of experience in sap uh, landscape okay so thank you so much for watching uh, please let me know if you have any doubts or queries and i'll be happy to help you out uh, please go ahead and subscribe and like our channel bye bye